We've seen a lot of this, haven't we? Inflation data that beats. Absolutely. Um, I was fully expecting the, the likelihood that uh, the inflation number would probably beat expectations. Uh, clearly, there are a number of cross currents in terms of the inflation spectrum, not least of which is, of course, is energy prices, which is very uh, front and centre to both the economic and the political debates. Um, but clearly, we are still on an upward trajectory in inflation. The question is, will it be, will it be peaking in April or will we see a subsequent uh, and secondary peak uh, coming in October if we continue to see energy prices remaining elevated? And, that, and that's real, the real policy conundrum for both politicians and policymakers alike. Jeremy, for the, the later part of this year, the latter part of this year, let's assume we hopefully get a better situation in the Russia-Ukraine crisis and the main source of stress is inflation and higher yields for markets. Where will prove the best haven? Because I was running out of time earlier, I outrageously said the Brazilian real. What do you think about that since you like commodity currencies? Well, I, I was a little bit, uh, a little bit surprised. But having said that, uh, we have obviously seen some uh, substantive improvements or uh, some, some substantive interest in terms of uh, Brazil. And I think there are obviously issues in terms of looking for those that are going to be uh, continuing to either be hiking rates or seeing uh, significant uh, moves in uh, in the yield spectrum. Um, I think as we as we move through the year, if we are going to see some degree of uh, stability, and we do see a reduction in those Ukraine um, uh, Russian related fears, uh, then I. I think markets will then be looking for that sort of growth orientation to start to come back into uh, 2023 and onwards. And I guess the question will be uh, those currencies which have uh, the most sort of tightening priced in could well prove to be a little bit uh, compromised. And it may well be the case that uh, we start to see a much more constructive backdrop for currencies like the euro going into uh, 2023 okay. compared to 22.